Hello everyone, and welcome back to Super 3. Today's level is going to be the last one of the main campaign. It is going to be Meteorite Cavern. Um, I will say before I start, you're going to have to make sure of a couple of things. One, that you don't fall in the middle. Two, that you don't fall in sides, because both are lava. They will just instantly kill you. Three, the boss here is going to instantly kill you if he hits you. There is no chance of living. So meta packs won't help here. It is all dodging and making sure you're not too close to him. And another thing, you want to make sure when you're stepping around here that you are careful that you don't get too close to him because he will jump around and go the other way. So I did a small practice one off camera and it wound up going okay. Sprinting is a bit of an issue here because you need to sprint four times. So I'm going to do the best I can here. Hopefully this will go smoothly in one take, but I'll have to see. Okay, so the only weapon that you want to use here is going to be your Desert Eagle. Everything else is going to pale in comparison. Um, and as is mentioned in the Stella Guide, you are going to need at least about 50 to be able to do this correctly. If you really have troubles, hopefully you have at least 60. At most, you will ever need a 70. At most. Um, if you have to have more than 70, you're better off just starting over again. Okay, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, the shortcut for this gun is 3 on the PC. So just do a couple shots at a time. And then keep going. Do not let him get too close, and do not get too close to him. You want to maintain distance on both areas. Because if you do it too early, this should be the last one. Yes. So, immediately sprint. You want to get these quick, because he has a very short timer before he comes right back up. Because he's being powered and maintained by the meteorite. So now I do it again. Just a couple at a time. Okay, this should be the next one. Okay, I'm going to get this one. It doesn't really necessarily matter what order you go in, as long as you got all four. Because you have to have all four for the meteorite to no longer take effect on him. Because otherwise, he's just gonna keep coming back. It's his life force. Just a couple at a time. And do be careful you don't go in the middle. He will just kill you. Okay, this one should also... I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Okay. I didn't think it was going to go smoothly because I did it in one take uh, the last time. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. If I fail this time, I will show you after I've gotten the current amount I had before. Just a little bit of time. The most you want to do at one point is three. Because it will be too close to you after that. Ideally, you want to do two each time. That will put you in the best position. Okay. Okay, so he is in a good spot, thankfully. Definitely make sure he lets you get a little bit of distance. Ideally, you want to place yourself near one that you haven't gotten to. Like this. Okay, back to it again. Now we're back where we left off. Okay, if 
you're in a good enough spot, you can do four, but it's not advised. And then we'll have to actually kill him, legitimately. Because he won't be able to run after that. Okay, he's not in a good spot, but if you're quick enough, this is fine. Not great. He's, he's not in a good spot. Okay. That was close. Okay. Now you just legitimately have to kill him. Because he cannot revive now. He has no supply anymore. you safe here because if you happen to fall in here you legitimately have to do all of that again so definitely make sure you save so it doesn't matter which side we go on they both lead to the same area so I'm just gonna try this one and you want to be angled in a way she'll actually get it because when I did my test one the battle went smoothly but I fell in the lava I just wanted to see how it go, and uh, it didn't go good. Okay. Add up here. And we are going to go up this path. Because now, if we want to escape this cavern, we've done all we have to here. And Willard can no longer do his experiments. Okay. So there's going to be this. And we're going to be going across. Thankfully, the rest of this level is very self-explanatory. Um, there's no real gimmicks to the rest. It's literally just escaping. You want to go there. Go ahead and save one more time. For precaution's sake. I don't think there's any items anywhere that I can recall at least. Uh, I can't think of any. And uh, as you would expect, there is no secrets in this level, and there is no secrets in the secrets. Be kind of redundant to dive secrets in a secret level. Okay, so make sure you're careful here because you can fall all the way down. We are going to go this way. Okay, we're going to be going over here into kind of like a compound area. I was worried that they were going to have flamethrowers. That would have been awful. Can you imagine how awful that would be? Like you finish this whole level and then all of a sudden you're just in flames and you can't you can't pick them out. Some do though. He hit me from behind. Like he was facing forward, but he hit me from behind him. 
Uh, okay. Okay, and to have a little bit of fun, I am going to switch over to the rocket launcher. Might as well, I never used it much. Okay, so both of those guys dropped Desert Eagle Clips. And this guy dropped a large amount of back. Okay, there's nothing over there. Okay, that's just his gun. I think this is just to give the impression that there is a building here. Okay, there is a switch. It's here. Hmm. Well, the button is for something. I don't know what, though. Okay, this should lead to where we need to be. the end of our adventure. Uh, so let me go over how much of stuff I have left, like I did before. So, pistols are pistols. I have one shotgun shell left. I don't know how, but I just won. Uh, 92 Desert Eagle Clips. 327 Uzi ammo. 794 MP5 ammo. 18 rockets. 10 grenades. And 28 harpoons. 172 flares. Which if you're playing console version, you probably don't have that many. Um, 18 large meta packs and 40 smalls. That's what I finished with. So that is Timur 3. Um, it really is a good game. I, I love the classics. I always have, always will. They are such a part of my childhood. I cannot separate myself from them. Um, and even though I have levels that I really don't like, I do enjoy every bit of this game. Um, really, all of the classic Terminators deserve so much more respect than they have ever given. Um, they always want to treat Classic Laura like absolute garbage, and she does not deserve that. She is an absolute queen. She deserves everything she can ever get. Um, so hopefully down the line, they will take that into consideration and give her what she deserves which is Classic Remix. Um, okay, so as you have seen, we have 60 out of 59 secrets. That extra is from Coastal Village. So if you happen to miss one, you can still have a perfect game. You have one freebie. So if you don't want to fool with a certain secret, like if you didn't want to fool with Tenos and you didn't want to fool with the door and all that stuff, if you had troubles with it, you can skip it and be fine. Um, same with certain other secrets, like the Let's Kate one, for example. If you don't want to fool with that one, you'll have to. Um, you can absolutely just skip it. Um, so it took 12 hours, 25 minutes, 58 seconds. Um, I did find all the secrets, including the extra. 400 kills, 9,216 ammo was used, 7,775 hits. If I just hit two more, I'd have all sevens. Um, I did use 30 and a half meta packs, both of those being Ludgate and RX Tech Mines, because I give myself permission to do that. Um, I was trying my best to show that you can do them without ever using meta packs, but those levels are, they're on my hit list. So I really don't like them, so I will just use anything I can to get through them. And I traveled 66.64 kilometers. So this week is going to be a three video week. I am going to be doing this one, All Hallows, which is the secret level, um, and Laura's Home. After that, uh, I will have to see how I'm going to do with Tomb Raider 4, um, because 
usually what I will do is I will do two Tomb Raiders and then I will do something else. So I'm going to be doing Tomb Raider 4, and then after that, I'm not sure. It will either be... It will either be Sweden 1. Uh, hopefully the remaster will come out by that point. I would love to have it. Um, if not, I do have a way that I can play it. Um, the unfortunate part is it won't have the music. Which is so annoying, but um, I can always try and superimpose it if I can on top of where it should be. I kind of know enough about the music to where it, I know where it would be at. So I'm going to try and do something about that. Uh, we'll have to see. I've got time before that comes. Um, okay, I've run on long enough. So with that being said, if you like what you see here, please do consider subscribing. I'm trying to look for as big as I can. If you want to support the content, you can like and share it. It does help me immensely, especially when I'm doing retro content. It is very niche and anything will help. Um, anything to help push the algorithm. So like liking, sharing, commenting, all that helps. Okay, I will see you either in Terminator 4 or I will see you in All Hallows and Laura's Home. So I will see you then.